I'd like to share with you my ceremonial prayer in the third chakra. This is how I released, completed my journey with my false masters. I called it, Bury My Dead, A Prayer of Endings. But I do want to reiterate something I talk about at length in Soul Vows, the book. You do not have to bury your dead. If I had it to do over today, I might want to integrate or transmute or transform. And I almost didn't share this prayer in the book. But in the Soul Vows Telecourse, I read this every year, and every year people are so deeply, deeply moved. This prayer moves them to be ready to complete their journey with their false masters. And so I offer it to you as a gift and as one example of how one soul released her false masters. Bury my dead, a prayer of endings. Dear God, I've come to bury my dead. They lived with me a long time. They tried to serve me well. I am not angry with them, not anymore. I was at first angry that I had given them such power, angry that I had let them move in. But look, at the sweet girl who obliged them. Who can be angry with her? Not me. I can only hug her and bless her and tell her all is finally well. Let's go in the house together, child. What do we see? Oh, dead and decaying corpses everywhere. Place smells bad, looks bad, feels awful. It's time to cart the dead away. Let's pick them up, child, and bury them. In the basement is the wretched body of obedience. He used to be such a commanding presence. Obey, he would scream, and obey I did. Now he doesn't look so scary. Rather pathetic, actually. With bulging eyes, decaying mouth, exploded tongue. He commands nothing and no one now. Let's bury him, child. Goodbye, obedience. Goodbye. In the kitchen lies the skeleton of obligation. Look at her, child, how she struggled to hold things together. She had to work, cook, clean, had to finish one more thing and start another. Isn't it lovely to see her finally stop, slump in a chair, and refuse to go on. She doesn't have to do anything anymore. Let's bury her child. Goodbye, obligation. Goodbye. Look in the doorway, crumpled on the floor. That's what's left of neglect. She was so focused on the outside, taking care of everyone and everything, that finally there was no inside, no strength, no core. She couldn't hold on, couldn't continue. Looks like she's disintegrated to nothing. Let's bury this dust, child. Goodbye, neglect. Goodbye. Let's go in the bedroom, child, and find the frightened one. Poor thing, look at her quivering bones. She lived in fear. Fear of stopping, fear of changing, fear of the known, fear of the unknown, afraid to stay, afraid to go. Now at last. She is still. Fear no longer fills her veins. Let's bury her, child. Goodbye, fear. Goodbye. Oh, look, child, fallen in the hallway. It's control. She's completely out of control now. No longer looking perfect. No longer trying to manage everyone and everything. Things have finally spiraled completely out of control. Unable to make anything happen, she collapsed where she stood. Let's surrender her to the earth, child, where she can rest. Goodbye, control. Goodbye. 
Oh dear, look who's on the phone, was on the phone, the lying one. Her lies smell so terrible, we may not be able to get near. Her words have rotted her tongue. Her teeth collapsed around the hole in her truth. Let's bury her quickly in the warm soil. Goodbye, lies. Goodbye. Let's go up to the attic, child. There is one last dead thing, the separated one. Oh, see, she's wrapped herself in blankets, stuffed her sobs with cloth. She thought she was completely separated, completely alone. But the light was all around, is all around, see? The light is shining through the windows, sparkling through the cracks. Why couldn't she see it? Why did she suffer so? <sighs> Let's bury her now, child. Goodbye, separation. Goodbye. Dear God, the child and I have come to bury my dead. We surrender them to the care of your healing earth. Dust they were, and dust they shall become. They tried to serve me. In pain and effort, they captured my attention. In pain and effort, they taught me, finally taught me to say no. And I do say no. No to obedience, no to obligation, no to neglecting myself, no to fear, no to control, no to lies, no to the belief that I was alone. None of these ideas were true. None of these things were real. None of these monsters were alive. I made them true. I made them real. I gave them life. Every time I was afraid, I gave them life. But I'm not afraid anymore. I call my power back to me away from obedience, away from obligation, away from neglect, away from fear, away from control, away from lies, away from believing I am alone. I am not alone. You are with me always, dear God, giving me strength to bury my dead.